Hello everyone and welcome back to Movies with Andy. Um, I am sorry for not making a video last week. We were actually at Sundance in Salt Lake City. We'll probably make a video about that later, but this week we gotta watch Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. <laughs> I had to look it up because it was super, super long, but it was directed by Kathy Ann and it came out today. Um, today is the 6th, which is really the 7th because today is Thursday, <laughs> but... Today's special guest is my girlfriend, Marley. So, Marley, we saw this movie together with Molly. And Yay. hi Molly. <laughs> and what did you think about it? Well, I really liked it. I love her character and I think she plays it perfectly. She's the perfect actress for Harley Quinn. Yeah, she she did great. I mean, the whole time I was like, oh, okay. She, she just got yeah. crazier and crazier. Like in Suicide Squad, she was good. She, I mean, she was the best part of the movie. But this time she just kept getting crazier and crazier. And I, I really loved that. Well, yeah, because it was all about her. So it just showed. I like how this was based off of their breakup. And so it showed her how she really is on her own, which was still wild. So... I really liked it. <laughs> and it shows that breakups aren't just for humans and how is it in the comic book. She goes, like the beginning is her going through this breakup. So it's just the depression, her being alone, her not knowing what to do without the Joker. And I really like that. It shows really like a human element. It's realistic. To, yeah, to comic What's book characters. Happen. Yeah. So um, any other critiques you have about the movie? I don't have anything bad to say about it. Maybe in the beginning I felt like it was a little slow and I was kind of just waiting for something Harley Quinn, you know, to happen. She, I don't know. I just thought that it was just going to be that narration the whole time, which it was, but I thought it was a little too much. Yeah, there is a lot of exposition in this movie. Um, it's a lot of voiceovers with Harley Quinn. At first I'm like, okay, let's get on with it. But I guess there is a point to it, but I just feel like they just did it too much. They try to rely too much on the exposition. It kind of reminded me of Deadpool. You know, how he, you know, speaks yeah. to the audience and all. Breaking but the she was wall. doing yeah. it the entire time, which I was like, eh, you know, but it was still a good movie. So it didn't really, really bug me. Okay. And then I really like the action. I did not know this but I'm almost, almost positive that it's a rated R movie. And I did not know that until today that I looked it up and like I was like, oh, it's rated R. And yeah. I can tell why. A lot of violence, a lot of blood. So kid, mom, parents, <laughs> do not take your kids to watch this. It's a less version of Deadpool, but still pretty up there. Yeah, I wanna, that's, it kind of like just reminded me of Deadpool the whole time. Yeah. And um, the fighting scenes are amazing. If you love Harley Quinn or if you just like DC movies at all, go watch it. It's really good. Yeah, because DC has been slacking. They did really great on Joker mm -hmm. and Aquaman. Yeah, but this one they did really great too. So yeah, they're, they're really, really changing things up over there at DC Films and I'm really liking it. And so far they did good with this one. We now have to wait for Wonder Woman later on in the year and then The Batman next year. So... Yeah. Will they be good? I don't know. I really hope so because I like this. So, Marley, the moment of truth. How many Andes do you give it? I want to say four and a half Andes. Four and a half Andes? Woo! Only because I didn't want to give the full five just because of the narration part of it. And that's what kind of just bugged me a little bit, but not too much. So Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I am going to give it... For Andy's, I really, really liked it. Um, I thought I actually, I actually went in there with very low expectations. I didn't expect too much from the movie. The trailers looked great, but the trailers also looked great for Suicide Squad. So I was going with really, really low expectations, honestly. But it exceeded my expectations. I really liked it. Yes, the exposition does get to be too much, but I feel like. Margot Robbie did a great job portraying that character, oh, and yeah. she now is, and has been, Harley Quinn. Officially. She's amazing, so... And not even her, but just everyone else. Black Canary, Huntress, 
um, the police, the officer. Oh yeah, all of the characters were so great, and usually I feel like DC movies are so forced yeah. a lot of times with their humor, with their action and everything, but this one just really flowed, Yeah. and I liked it a lot. All of the characters were great, and their powers and all, so... Yeah, and now that you say that, the comedy didn't feel forced. Yeah. Now that I think about it more and more, mm -hmm. like, everything just went naturally. Yeah. Like, she gets a hyena because she wants a hyena. <laughs> so. <Spoiler. laughs> No, it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer. I made sure. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but, yeah. But if you get a chance to watch it, let us know what you think. Um, please leave a comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Next week, I'm going to be doing Sonic. So that should be a dashing good time. <laughs> Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe. I really need the fans all crazy. <laughs> For her? As you could tell. Her. And thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> Bye.